my name is Muhammad Hussein. Uh, currently, I'm in charge and as a senior VP uh, in the doctor. Basically, I'm, I'm tackling everything technology. So, so I would say I'm the I'm operating CTO lah in in the doctor. Uh, the good doctor itself is is a number one B 2 B focus health tech company in Indonesia. So basically, uh, what good doctor did is uh, they connecting uh, quality doctor to the family in Indonesia and also delivering the medicine right into the uh, people people's door. Uh, one of our backer is uh, Grab. If you know Grab, Grab is one of the uh, biggest right hailing in Indonesia. And because they are invested in us, uh, uh, we kind of have an exclusive partnership with them, and probably only two health and company using a uh, using a uh, instant delivery. Because you know, a patient gets sick and they doesn't wait for days for the medicine, right? So uh, this is one of our competitive advantage, having Grab in our site, so we can uh, send the medicine. Uh, quickly, it's around 15 to 30 minutes into people people's house. So that's one of our our you know our competitive advantage. And yes, that is so interesting, and I think it's a really amazing mission too. Um, can you tell us about the role communication plays within the platform? I think communication is 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 a core core service uh, in Good Doctor because we're connecting doctor with patient. They need to you know, uh, diagnose and talking about uh, their symptoms and everything. So it's a very, I would say, uh, uh, core service that we deliver in, in Good Actor. And what specific challenges in that patient communication do you aim to solve with chat? I think uh, chat is, is, a, is currently is a common uh, communication medium uh, where you can easily send uh, rich media like picture uh, you can also typing uh, symptoms better and it's really helping doctor to you know diagnose uh, patient condition so I think I think that's uh, one of the one of the challenge that we we need to solve and the other thing is the best thing about chat is uh, doctor can you know uh, doing a consultation with multiple patient at once because using chat you can you can answer uh, uh, another patient and and servicing uh, multiple patients at once and it's it's giving more efficient work in our uh, medical operation I would say. Increasing efficiency that's amazing and so when you were looking to integrate chat how did you evaluate the different providers and what led you to stream? Okay so basically before I'm working with a uh, good doctor actually even <clears throat> even the when I'm arrived uh, the migration already happens uh, but previously, when before I'm uh, I'm working with Good Doctor, I'm already I'm working in quite similar. Uh, it's not in the health tech health tech company, but uh, the service is pretty similar. It's it's connecting the lawyer to the also using the chat. So previously, even like five years five years uh, earlier, I'm already you know trying many communication channel that readily available in the market. It's very rare at at the time and uh, because of that experience uh, I'm using another 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 tools on the market before <clears throat> and I think uh, I'm already experienced what is the drawback in some of technicality and the, uh, I think most of the support is good but it's more on the technical drawbacks and then uh, that's why uh, when I'm uh, joining Good Doctor I'm trying to uh, find another alternative other than the one that i'm using so it's it's quite a long experience journey and uh, just uh, doing a, a quick exploration i can find that stream is quite appealing and uh, and based on based on the description and documentation it's quite answer many problems that i faced before so probably that's the trigger and I'm trying to contact stream and all that. Then we have the stream in the platform right now. 
Awesome. That is so great to hear. And can you tell me a little bit about the integration for Stream or maybe how the engineers currently use Stream or what are they finding it easy? Are they using documentation? Are they looking at tutorials? What's the developer experience like at Good Doctor? One of the best thing about Stream is the documentation is quite comprehensive, that one. And also uh, the other part is the even when we're doing a migration, the support coming from uh, Stream is, is, I would say, is very supportive. Uh, they not only, you know, giving us uh, a Slack channel so we can ask the engineer. They also, you know, doing the a live uh, code review uh, by the, the engineer. It's not a super or anything. It's a real engineer who code the stream. So when we ask a difficult question, because the easy question already solved in the docs, right? But the complex and uh, hard problems require a real engineer to help us solve the solve the issues. And Stream is really keen to offer the best engineer to help us doing the review and integration. And and it's it's amazing. I haven't get that kind of you know a best support. And it's really help us to you know doing the best practice and using a Stream. And a Stream always evolve. Even they also. Uh, you know, if we have a feedback, uh, probably one or two months, they already, you know, updating the SDK and it's really, really helpful for us. And which SDKs do you use? I think uh, right now uh, we're using a three platform to deliver the good actor. This one is uh, a, a mobile. Mobile, we have Android native and also the uh, iOS native. And the third one is uh, in the web. Uh, we're using ReactJS SDK to, to deliver our chat. Great. That's that's so great to hear. I'm glad that you're getting a lot of engineering support too whenever you reach any any tough spots in development. Um, can you tell me a little bit more about the features you've enabled within Stream Chat specifically to help your telehealth use case? Uh, I think for every platform, uh, since uh, one of the good thing about using Stream is the over flexibility in which feature and, and uh, which uh, uh, which feature that we can combine and also how deep is the integration is, is, is the option is very wide. So for instance, the mobile itself, I think they uh, using everything. Uh, probably the only thing that not, not uses the, U, the UI kit, uh, but the notification, read and read feature, the core chat, definitely the core chat. Uh, itself, I think, yeah, yeah, notification, uh, sorry, sorry, notifications, uh, read and read message. I think almost everything, uh, a part, the, a part uh, of the UI because we want to build our own UI. And sometimes there is, a, you know, there's a concern or limit if we're using a stream UI. But in the web, uh, it's quite different. We're using several UI components coming from the stream and it helps us to build the UI pretty quickly. Only the you know, a uh, very uh, tailored UI that uh, I think it's hard to, you know, using the, the kit from the stream. But since they over flexibility to use anything, you can use your own UI, you can use stream UI. So it's very really helpful. That's great to hear. Can you tell me a little bit about the metrics you use to evaluate the success of stream chat, whether it's on the user side, so engagement or retention, or maybe orders completed? Um, what does that look like to evaluate stream? I think uh, the most easy metrics is uh, user feedback. And the one that uh, use chat uh, intensely is a doctor itself because users uh, probably use it only once a month, right? But doctor use it like every day, uh, like multiple times a day, right? So one of their feedback is uh, when we're using stream, the improvement is amazing. I mean, the experience is is excellent they they really see the different uh, compared to previous solutions and they say that uh, the experience is smooth the notification is as is, is, is there quickly quickly there and i think i think that's the the most important metrics i think because when we empower doctor with the right tools uh it increasing their effectiveness to deliver the service right and uh, one of the metrics is queue time you know, if the doctor is having a difficulty to uh, respond to the patient queries, 
it causes it causing uh, a queue, right? Sometimes there is uh, the patient waiting too much in the queue because doctors is uh, servicing too long. Right now, since we are doing uh, delivering a smooth experience uh, chat platform, doctor can easily uh, respond quickly to the patient's queries and diagnose uh, faster. The queue time is even shorter. That's one of the metrics that we use. And can you tell me about the solution that Good Doctor was using prior to Stream? Was it a solution that the team built in house? Uh, yeah, I think it's not in house. In house, uh, it's, it's okay. actually built by uh, other part of the companies that we inherited. Okay. And so, when you're talking about the difference in user experience that doctors are seeing from the previous solution to Stream, is it mostly just the the lower latency they're experiencing with Stream that allows them to have the faster queue times, the quicker responses to patients, or is there anything else about the experience that's been improved? I think yeah, uh, one of the issues is mostly network. Yeah. Uh, probably the the, the chat increase, uh, whether it's in, and the problem can be in the user side, problem can in the doctor side. So it's a multiple front, uh, but mostly uh, the problem is on network. Got it. So the global edge network from Stream is really supporting that fast delivery of yeah. messages. Okay, great. So what other real-time communication methods would enhance the Good Doctor platform? Do you think there's a use case for video and audio to be integrated? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, we currently, we internally, it's not really, it's not uh, really yet, but we currently discussing the potential to having a video consultations. Uh, uh, the good thing about video chat is uh, they can shorter the turn back time, right? Because it's happened in real time. Like you questions, the doctor instantly answer. For <laughs> the IP or several use case, use case, we need that kind of uh, communication, which is the real-time turn back communication compared to chat, which uh, we need some time to wait the doctor to answer or patient to answer. Okay, that's great to see. So as you continue to expand your services, and I think I forgot to ask you, but how many active users does Good Doctor have? What's your user base size? For monthly, it's, uh, it's more than uh, 50k. 50k users is, is around 50 to 100, 100,000 users. Oh, wow. Okay. So as you continue to expand, what would you like to get out of stream chat? Would you like to just continue to see that engineering support and customer support possibly expanding the services or what else would you like? I think what stream did is already excellent. Eh? I cannot uh, complain more. Lah. Uh, because uh, when we have we facing difficulties, uh, even even I, I don't know uh, how oper stream operation works because people working in a different uh, time zone, right? But uh, whenever whenever our engineer asking a question, uh, they just you know typing it in in the in the Slack channel and and they 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 escalate pretty quickly answer most of the questions. And they all there's they sometimes over even rich communication like a video call or something, if if the problems still persist or hard to uh, to, to hard to diagnose using a, a Slack channel. Overall, it sounds like you've had a really great experience with Stream. What would you say as your final words to any other company looking to integrate a chat solution? I think it's easy. It's easy choice. I think Stream is uh, the best choice that you have if you want to build a. Uh, chat platform uh, without without the hassle. Eh? I think the only the it's it's not an advertising. It's a, a my own experience. I think it's 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 the best option that you you have right now in the market.